What up, y'all? What up, y'all? What up? You know what I'm saying? This is Growing Up Shot. I'm your host, Ronnie Ray, and that's your host, Christian Leslie. Christian Leslie. Well, we talk about everything in Chicago. You know what I mean? That's yeah. what Shy mean. That's that's cut. Shy couldn't. Chicago couldn't have. Yes. Shy. Shy town. Shy city. That's where we from, man. I'm from the South Side. You from the South Side? I am. We're not gonna say South Side Chicago because that is just cut out a whole lot of stuff. We all Chicago, man. You from the Shy? We talk about everything on this show, man. What we talk about. We talk about um famous people. We talk mm-hmm. about sports teams. We talk about food. Talk about we politics. Talk everything, man. Politics. We just talked about politics. That's right. We talked about um uh, police, the police violence, everything. Yes. But this we're gonna have a little fun with this one, man. We're gonna talk about a movie that was made here back in the 80s. Everybody loved it. You can be black, white, yes, Chinese, it didn't matter. This movie is funny. They still show it on cable now. This yes. is 30 years later. Because it's funny. <laughs> The great John Hughes made it, man. The he wrote this great. movie. He wrote this movie in a weekend. In a weekend. Okay, I don't. I, I never believed that. I'm sorry. You never believed that. I never believed the first that. draft in a weekend. You could write a first draft in a weekend. I never believed that. I never believed. Yeah, well, you can, but it's a weekend. He uh, he already been proven. So you, you had he had sixteen candles. He had uh, I think pretty he, and pink. I think he, he knew what he school. wanted. You, you know how you write stuff, but you don't have. Everything written down. I right. believe that. Right. I believe he had some key scenes, and he knew how he wanted to fill them out. And so he would, because we, we do that all the time. You'll write top, middle, bottom, and you know what you want to do when you get there. He I, was I believe rich. that. He was rich. He didn't have to go to work. He was in the house. Yeah. He could type all day. I believe you, yeah. John, Hughes. May, may, John Hughes. May you rest in peace. <laughs> the movie we're talking about right now. <laughs> Hey, Ferris. Ferris Bueller, day off. Yes. yes. One of the greatest comedies of all time. Yes. In my opinion. What do you and, think about that? Absolutely movie? true. Absolutely true. Tell me about, about what the movie was about. One of the great, it's, a, it's a coming of age uh, kind of. Not, I don't even know if it's coming of age. It's it's uh, it's a day. It's literally a day off. It's it's a, a, a rebellion film almost where uh, these three friends, these three high school friends take the day off of school led by the title character Ferris Bueller and chased by the high school uh, principal, Mr. Rooney. That's right. Who who has a pathological fucking problem. Uh, <laughs> some kind of cycle. Why are you obsessed with this kid? This child. Why, why can't he have a day out? <laughs> he just can't be this, that smart. This motherfucker is just, he, <laughs> we gonna I'm going to get, get you, Ferris. Like, the, <laughs> we got shit off. else to do at school. <laughs> There's nothing. I'm going to leave work nothing. and hang out this kid's house. Right. He broke in the house. Yes. He broke he, in the house he, and get this he kid. He committed a felony. In order to try and yeah, trap a damn child. Edward Rooney. Oh, that was ridiculous. Ain't no way my principal, Mr. Jordan, would have came to my damn house. No, Dr. Peoples damn sure wouldn't have come. Well, Mr. Me. Furman wasn't coming. He was a cool cop. I can't even say. Miss Coleman, Miss Coleman was kind of strict, but she wouldn't come looking for you. Then she'd have called your parents, and if your parents didn't pick up, that'd have been the end of it. <laughs> this dude, this dude leaves, takes actually. It's it, uh, an irony of it that I didn't see before now is he actually is after Ferris for doing what he's actually doing. Wow. That's deep. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I, I I've just, seen that movie. I just and, thought of it just now. I've seen that movie 78 times. I and just I'm thought of it just now. He's, he's angry at Ferris for basically doing what he himself is doing on that particular day. He's supposed to be in school, too. And he takes off. That's deep. To go chase his passion, which unfortunately is, some is the ruination of an 18, 17 year old boy. <laughs> like, 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 that's his passion. Ferris's passion was to go see some art with his friends wow. <laughs> and, and have a nice lunch. <laughs> Ferris, this is growing up shy. We're talking about Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Yep. Man, that movie, if it wasn't for that movie, wouldn't have Saved by the Bell. Mm mm. It made me. It made me really appreciate the cool kid. The best thing about his character, he wasn't. He was cool with everybody, but he wasn't that prototype cool kid. Right. He wasn't the athlete. He wasn't the thug. Right. He was just the cool. Or, nobody's ever written a movie about that. Or you could see how, if he had been the athlete, he would have been the cool athlete who wasn't picking. Because we we had some of those when I was a kid. Like I, I there was a time. I know it's hard to believe because I don't look like it, but there was a time when I, I, I was picked on a lot. And, and 
uh, right up until about 16 when I realized, because at, at the time I was in excellent shape, I just didn't know it. Um, so uh, I started beating people up and they left me alone. But until then, um, there was this one guy um, who's he's passed away now, uh, William Sherrod. Sherrod would always stick up for me. If, if he was someplace and somebody was bothering me, he would tell him to leave me alone. Um, and and that, that to me, is what Ferris Bueller would have been if he had been a jock. He would have been that guy. Mm. To, yeah. s- to say, no, leave him alone. Don't bother him. You know, he's cool. Or, or what Will would do, too, is he'd make a joke, you know, and then he, and, and it wasn't like he wouldn't, like, make a joke and then – I had to go, he would make a joke, and then, like, I could still hang out wherever I was, and just, I would go hang out with him, right, and, right. And, and that would be, people would leave me alone. So that's, that's I, I agree with you, but I, just thinking of it, like, he could have been a jock, because I don't think that would have changed him. He wouldn't have been a follower as, as a jock. He would have been a leader. He wasn't a follower, though. That's the thing. No, that's what I'm saying. If he had been a football player, he wouldn't have turned into a follower. He would have been a leader and, and told people, don't do that. You know, yeah. he would have been a cool job. He was the cool kid. Yeah. And his friend was the nerdiest dude in the world. I Well, okay. His friend, Cameron. Cameron was a square. Cameron was wound tight because he was under the control of his parents, and he never said anything. That's not even a geek. That's somebody that's just he. He was two steps away from being one of them Columbine kids. Yes, that's what the fuck he was. He wasn't yes. a geek. He was. He was. If Ferris hadn't been a friend of his, he might have wound up doing something different. Right. You right. know. Uh, but Ferris kid, they were always friends, and, and he kept pushing because he saw that that he was too tight. He needed to loosen up. Right. You know, and and he was right. You dug, <laughs> you dug in on the film, dog. You dug in on it, man. Oh man, yeah. I, I love it. I, the, when I went to go see it, uh, because me and my stepfather didn't always get along, and uh, I, I just I, I saw that like I identify with Cameron huge, you know. Um, so yeah, I, I I watched that movie at least a couple hundred times. At least never, I didn't see it at the movie. At least a couple hundred times. I, I saw that, that, that was the first time I saw, it. and that here's the interesting thing. That was, if I'm remembering this correctly. That was the very first time that Siskel and Ebert ever re-reviewed a movie. Right, right. Because their first review was a thumbs down. It was too campy. It, it was all over the place, all that bullshit that they would say because it wasn't whatever. Mm-hmm. Then people went to see the movie and told everybody about the movie. And the movie over the week, over that next weekend, went through the roof. Yeah. And it was one of the first times that that had ever happened to the two of them. So they basically got publicly fucking embarrassed. You know, they said it was bad, and, and people said, no, you're wrong. We like it. <laughs> <laughs> so then they came back. They re-reviewed it. And I forget. I don't think they – I forget how they put it. But they basically said, like, um, there were reasons why they didn't think – it was technically a great film, but they could understand how for certain audiences like teenagers and parents dealing with teenagers, they might That was all enjoy. John Hughes. That was his whole thing. That's that was what he was doing. Thing. He showed you every side right. of his life through those films. Right. I don't and, know nothing about the the uh Sixteen Candles. He was the he was um oh. Anthony Michael Hall character, I guess, yeah. growing up, but yeah. That the Breakfast Club was all kind of shit. I can easily see Ferris hanging in around them in that room oh, with yeah, them for sure. So all those characters that he did, uh, Weird Science is probably the the fantasy one, but mm-hmm. that's actually the one I kind of like the best. Uh, Weird Science and Ferris Bueller's Day Off are my favorite ones to watch. Um, but I don't, I don't think Ferris would have been uh, in the Breakfast Club because all of those no, characters I'm saying- were trapped. In their well, more more Cameron would have been in the Breakfast Club then. Yes, no. yes, Cameron okay. would have for sure. Okay, maybe Sloan. Yes, maybe Sloan. But yeah, Ferris, yeah, I, yeah, they could have probably put her. In yeah, Molly Ringwald, but she yeah. was more famous. But Ferris transcended all that. Fer- Ferris wouldn't have been there. But he was another. He Cameron. wouldn't have gone. He, he was a different. <laughs> no, he, he would have gone. Out he'd, he would have left soon as he'd have hacked into the, the fucking thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, true. But um, detention yet no wait um, no. <laughs> Yeah, but that's the show. The, the the movie is is awesome, man. It is. But he wasn't the first guy considered for the role. Like I can't see nobody else playing that now. I 
think you told me this the last it was uh Eric Schultz. Stoltz. Eric Stoltz. Stoltz. Yep. And what other movie, Eric Stoltz? I know that one. I knew uh, Back to the Future. Back to the Future, but which they he wound up in later on. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. he shot that. Then they, they had to go they, back. They, they went back. Yeah, they went back and shot the, all the scenes yep. again. Yep, 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 yep. That's how much money Hollywood got. That's a damn shame. <laughs> That's how much money. Yeah, you, you got paid and replaced. What the fuck is that? There you go. <laughs> what the fuck is I want to go do. Uh, what was the song? What was the movie you wound up doing? What was that? He was Did the he uh, do mask? mask. I was mask. Yeah. I had to go do mask. With Cher. Yeah. Little Ricky. You got a, did he get a too. nomination? I, I think so. A nomination Something, for that. Somebody got nominated. She, I'm sure she did. Because she had already done Silkwood. Yeah. Silkwood so and she, Moonstruck. That's right. That's right. Moonstruck is a, that, that. You know what? I would remake that with um, a black or Latina or some kind of mixed cast like that uh i thought it was a great movie but i, I think you could redo it uh i wouldn't redo it exactly i'd redo it with another uh ethnicity ethnicity i, mm-hmm. I would i would absolutely redo that movie mm-hmm. it's it's an un, very underrated movie over time um and, but it's got a lot of different moving parts and i, I think it's great um uh, but not greater than ferris bueller's right, back bringing it ah! back i like it <laughs> ferris bueller's Day, favorite scene right now the car which one which part when he's uh, the, the Cameron in the uh, in, in the garage with his dad. That's car. the best part of that movie for me. For me, wow. When I first saw, it, like, for I don't have to watch this shit. Right, no, I, that, I that was that, now I can watch it. But back when I was younger, like, would you get back to the fuck? When, dude, going? Again, when he's running home again, I hated my stepfather and my mother and I. If she listens to this, she's gonna. No, we were the best of friends. We weren't. She she'll never tell you she didn't like me, but she didn't like me. Um, it was, we we did not get along at all. So watching that scene, I was yeah yeah I was all about that. I it, it, I went back home. And I tried to find something that they but we didn't own anything like that. So there was nothing for me to break. But yeah, anyway. wow. It has to be my favorite scene. Has to be probably. It had to be the the the, the uh, twist and shout scene, obviously. Oh, that's a great scene. Yeah, sure, it, sure. It's dope. And um, <laughs> the restaurant scene. Um, <laughs> and the funniest line is not even from You're the main cast. The sausage king of Chicago. <laughs> the funniest line to me is from where Mr. Rooney in the pizza place. And oh, the, yeah, the yeah, Cub yeah, game yeah, is yeah, on yeah, there yeah, at the yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. he looks up. And as soon as he looks up, they get off the screen. And he's like, what's the score? The guy's like, nothing, nothing. <laughs> he said, who's winning? The, the Bears. Bears. That, that's classic. That's awesome. Uh, uh, and that dude was the same guy in Martin as the dead plumber. That's right. That's right. That's right. Let's see where he grew he's up. He's also on uh, Friends. He's the second city guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He was that's also true. on Friends. He was the uh, the the super that uh, Joey taught to dance. Oh, wow. Yeah. See? See? Yep, yep, yep. Friends is on for six hours a day, and I've never seen that before. Never seen that one? No. You got to get Netflix. No. Friends is on six hours a day on TBS, and I'm at home working, and it's on. I can watch it. I can find it. <laughs> Just don't. <laughs> it's okay. I missed your I think, point. I think, I think Jennifer Anderson. I think the I girls are hot. I missed your point. I missed I think the girls are hot. I think the show is funny. I am not catching up with all those episodes. I got I've you. seen enough. I know who's who. You got it. You got it. It's, it's not changing. There's no, no, no. There's no life-altering episode of Friends. It's, yeah. There is no. And that's, you know what? You know what we're missing from television, uh, especially with sitcoms? We're missing the very special episodes. Yes. Remember, remember the very special episode of of, of Silver Spoons? It's a that, very special. Right. No, remember when Different Strokes? Different Strokes. They, yeah. they, they oh, talked to you before. Yeah. Oh, make sure you watch this one with your parents. Right. It's a very special, special episode of Different Strokes. Yeah. And Dougley got touched by the bike dude. Yes. <laughs> by, uh, <laughs> the, 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 by Mr. So, from WKIP. Yeah, uh, uh, his name is um, Gordon Jump. Yes. yes. Gordon Jump was the child molester. Yes, and I'm was. like, what is this we watching? Yes, and then the other one. <laughs> They had another special episode on there when, when Sam, oh. when Sam, when the, the redhead kid yeah, that they got, yeah, yeah, yeah. he was kidnapped by this guy, and I'm like, what is that? I'm like, God damn, I'm I'm and then Sam got kidnapped. Sam got kidnapped. <laughs> this is like season nine. He looks just like Joey, and the wife was the the, the, the dad Wait, brought the kid Sam home. Sam got kidnapped. Yes, and what's the other one? The other one was so stupid. Um, small wonder. Do you remember this? 
There was a very special episode of very Small special Fucking epi- Wonder. The, the kid was kidnapped by the dad. Which and kid? Some kid from their school. And she was doing some homework with them, and Vicky saw her on the back. <laughs> if y'all know what Small Wonder is, it's right. about a robot, it's a, a, and they're building a house and made a little kid. And Ricky, well, Vicky wait, saw her. This is, this is the, this is the girl. That's a terrible explanation. <laughs> No, because it's on Antenna TV, and it was oh, okay, on last week. Right. It was on a couple of weeks ago. So they were like, "This is the this is uh, let's we'll say April. This is April on the back. How her face is on a milk carton. Oh hell, oh that's no. the same girl. And then at the end, they ain't like, yo, she ran off. They they, actually, they left. They ran. He got away with her, but they're gonna catch him. That Wait, was it. He got away. Yeah. Why didn't Vicky track him down? That that that. She's a fucking cyborg. That, that was it. <laughs> they got away. But hey, back what? to Fast News Now. Because that's no special episode, Nat. Um No, no, that's not. I watched a it's documentary not. on that show. There's a documentary, oh, documentary on Fast News Day Off. Oh, you gotta send me that. It's on I Real TV know or something. Yeah, they did Caddyshack, Animal House, and that movie. Wow, I've seen a Caddyshack that's documentary. How, that's how I know that he wrote it in the weekend. That's what his public. That's how they said. said. So boom. Yeah. He did that and they cut a scene out and I'm like, whoa, they would have kept that in. That really would have been messed up. Hmm. The scene when he he was doing the um, uh, doing the um, Don the Shane that's that's right. before he started doing Twist and Shout. They were walking, okay, and they're like, "What are you gonna do when you go get out, or whatever?" I don't know what he, he said. What are you gonna do? And he asked her. They cut the scene out when he asked Sloan what she's gonna do. Uh-huh. She was like, "Maybe get married, get pregnant, have a kid." And they're like, "Yo, we can't keep no. that." No. They said that they said they, they were that was over the line because they were already. I mean, if you look, I was a kid and I was like, well, what the fuck? Are they getting a house next or what? It was already too. You know what I'm saying? It was right. already. So that would have that would have been over the line. Yeah. That, like, that would have oh, been too far. Yeah. 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 That yeah. would have been too far. Yeah. And then sure. they would start singing like this don't make any sense. Sure. Like, and it would have screwed up because what's what's what John Hughes did in excellent fashion. He, he was the master of capturing moments and then tying those moments together in order to tell a story. But these these moments were huge. When he runs off at the end and he's he's doing the you know the long chase or long dash every home, movie has that right? chase scene. Okay, so he's doing a long dash home. he runs off and there's that frame uh shot where she just looks after he runs off and she says, uh I'm gonna marry him. He's gonna marry, yes. Right. That would have had no meaning whatsoever right if they had had before then maybe uh have some baby that that would have had absolutely no romantic right. meaning in it whatsoever so i that, that was the right call by uh by the higher ups which is rare but hey, um usually they, i would have they, married them no i'm just saying usually the higher ups the, the suits girl was fine. the suits sorry. usually fuck up movies you know what right, I mean? right, right, they, right. They, they usually they, you know but but rarely they get and they got that right yeah they got that right they, that was, they were right no, they said that they tested it with the audience, and they said oh. that was the least. Okay, let me take possible. that credit no. back. Uh, good, congratulations Thank you. to the, the audience the yes. <laughs> who tested Cut it. Cut that damn scene. Yes, yes. The suits, once again. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot. I was just talking about a favorite scene. What? What? Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen. Oh, I didn't. I didn't care for it when with I was the younger. actress Jennifer Grey. Dude, when I seen that, that I see it now. Oh, I crack yes. up at that shit. That, it's hilarious. It's absolutely. It, it was even at the time. Um, I didn't know how to feel about it. I laughed when she was going to uh, punch him or whatever when he said Ferris Bueller. Yeah. But the whole that whole interlude is really. It's very important. For what he's building between the sibling rivalry between the two of them, and it pays off later when Ferris is finally caught. Right. Uh, but she has gotten over herself. Right. And so it's not about him. It's not about that. And they are family. And dude, what's your old ass doing at our house? <laughs> right. What the fuck is your grown ass doing at our house? Bother my baby brother, basically. You yeah. know what I mean? Because he is younger, you know. When Was he? he? I no, he graduated so. in June. He was older. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Okay, even older brother, my brother. You know why? Yeah. Why are you harassing? But, it, but the behind the scenes, here. behind the scenes, on there, right. you found out they were dating. They were dating, yeah. and the parents were dating. He's like, "Is she gonna oh. play my wife?" I'm gonna start dating her, and that's what he said on the thing. We dated for a while, huh. doing the whole thing. So I, I guess, oh, God. I guess I've been in the wrong movies. Eighties, eighties um, entertainment. <laughs> I guess I've been in the wrong movies. I never dated a co-star or anybody. Well, that we, was we, set. we we weren't. 
in, in the eighties, that was that was. I mean, it's still it's pretty common still now. People get close and so forth, but but back then it was. It, 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 they always went after co stars. Wow, the, all the time. Well, I mean, you know, you don't set. They say you have a set wife. Or right, they, they, but they. I mean, more so, they they, they went after him. I mean, they, they, you know. Yeah, uh, we got sad cars. Let's do this. Right, right. Yeah. There's, you know. <laughs> we, Fans, Bruce Dale. People probably like, why y'all talking about that? It was in Chicago. It was in Chicago. Every, the Jesse White tumblers were the there? Jesse White tumblers. Yeah, it, it, I mean it Jesse was, White tumblers were every, every Bulls game I went to in eight. Yeah, I mean it, it's it it stands out as a it's a great uh, it's a great film on its own, but it's also a great film because of the locations that he chose to shoot at. I mean everything. Oh, looked, he gave you it looks perfect. He gave you a great look at Chicago. You wouldn't even think that's the same place that they talk about now. Mm-mm. The way he shot a lot of those scenes. And I, I think I've seen somebody else kind of take a little bit of that in their movie about Chicago. Right. So right. I'm like, yeah, so, yeah, John Hughes is on point with that, man. Yeah. I'm, glad he, I'm glad he finally used Chicago. Because everything. He the, kept doing it on the River Forest. Sherman, or, Sherman something. There ain't yeah. no such city as that. That's oh, no well, yeah, 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 He yeah, made yeah. up a city. No, yeah. He, 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 but, you know, he was shooting in, uh, in Oak Park River Forest. Right. That's where he was. Yeah. Right. Um, and I think even the 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 house where they're racing to to get back is uh, is River Forest. I think that's that's mm. on River Forest. Uh, so that's where you shot a lot of that stuff at. But yeah, you're right. At least he finally used an actual city. And you know, there's still people, hand to God, there are still people who get confused and try to look for the uh, Sherman, the the fake city that I he looked made up. for it when I was younger. Yeah, you were younger. Yeah. Right. Like you talking about now, though. Now, now. Mm-hmm. Grumpy. That's how great of a writer this guy was. Or that's how much Americans don't pay attention to geography. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, you still yeah, kids who literally looked back in the 80s, they looked, looked in the phone book for Michael Jackson's number and called it. Like, that's what they did. Again, those are children? Yeah. So that's okay. Okay, all right. These are, Children are the same people who believe in Santa Claus, so I don't fault them when they do things. When you're grown and you have a checking account, mm, yeah. You don't believe in Santa Claus? When you get to vote, no. I was no, joking. No, 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 no. <laughs> I wasn't trying to make news here tonight. <laughs> Ferris Bueller's Day Off, man. It's a great movie. A great, great, great movie. And you know um What's her name is uh is in that for that scene uh the really itty bitty uh then Laura Flo- Laura Flynn Boyle what scene in the hallway oh, okay yeah. yeah 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 she's in there she's in there too yeah okay um I can't think of any more can't some more but yeah, there's a lot of that that movie is Louis Anderson in there Louis Anderson mm-hmm Louis Anderson man I. Uh, <laughs> that's a whole, that's a whole other show. That's a different show. That's, that's a different show. show. John Hughes <laughs> that's fair. wrote some legendary movies. May yes. he rest in peace. We're gonna close out, man. Yes. Had, we got go. we, we, we can be shorter. You know, what I mean, we done said enough. Yeah. Um, Jennifer Grey, good looking woman, Dirty Dancing went on to do Dirty Dancing. Yes. Charlie Sheen went on to do all kind of crazy stuff. Yes. High paid and having sex with a bunch of porn stars. Winning. Great. Winning in life. Winning. Matthew Broderick married <laughs> up. Sarah, Sarah Jessica, Jessica Parker. Parker. Um, right. The girl plays Sloan wherever you are. You fucking, yo. Hey. Wait, no, it's uh, Sarah. Sarah something. Mia uh, Sarah. Mia Sarah. Mia Sarah. Mia Sarah. I Mia seen Sarah. her in some movie with Alyssa Milano in the middle of the night and they, like, yeah. It was like, hey, they got they don't have a close on. Oh my! I thought it was, I thought it was the greatest thing ever. <laughs> so wherever you are, are you and then as I saw Alyssa Milano with the girl from Golden Child, I'm like, what is this? What is this? Oh, they're they're naked again. Mm. And then next thing I know, Alyssa Milano's on Charm, and she stopped doing that. Anyway, right. and and there's a story behind that. They tried to um, once the internet. Got because it was kind of okay because those were those were like B C movies so it wasn't a big it wasn't a big deal <laughs> and then the internet happened yep and those videos all ain't those going scenes nowhere. were everywhere and her mom God bless her mom her mom Alyssa Milano's mom tried to you know marshal that and 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 kind of control it and get you know control of that and, and there was just no way to do it wow so it's, it's still out but there. hey those are my well, my biggest, some of my biggest crushes as a kid. So I loved her. The guy played Cameron. He was dope. Uh, went on to Spin City. Funny yes. as hell. Yes. Um, who else? Mr. Rooney did some other. Did he do How with the Duck? Who did How with the Duck? 
I think he did. The Howard the Duck, he I was a jerk he... in that movie too. Um, hey, if you uh, look, if you can I'll, play I'll, the jerk, play the jerk. I'll play a jerk for the next thirty years. Give me the money. <laughs> I don't. I don't give a damn. I'll do it. You forgetting anybody? That's um, it. Um, I think that's all. That Laura Flynn Boyle obviously went on to to play. Uh, and uh, she, she was in Threesome. That was the next kind of big thing. And then and then she did uh, The she Practice. She was in Wayne's World? Wayne's she World. She was in Wayne's World, but The Practice. Uh, Man in Black 2 and The Practice. That's right. That's right. And hey, and that makes it a legendary movie. My man uh, from the, the car. Did, oh, the, the scene where they stole the car. That's a great scene. The yes. only black guy in the movie. Yes. Uh, was funny. Why he had to be a thief? I don't know, John Hughes. One day you'll tell me. Um, Not really, because he's dead. <laughs> he would come to me in a dream. <laughs> he's a like, Ronnie Ray. I had to do that because black people still. No, oh, he, okay. He, he well, well John, John, you, you go to Ronnie Ray in a dream. Don't no. come to me. I don't. No. Want, I don't. I don't want to talk to ghosts. <laughs> Ronnie but Ray it's cool. <laughs> the director's god will hit me. But that's it. This is growing up shop. That's Fair's right. Blues Day Off. One of yes. the greatest comedies of all time. If yes. you ain't seen it, you're depriving yourself. Check go it out. out. It's on cable all the time. Go to the on demand. Go get the DVD. Netflix. Get the Betamax tape. What up? Whatever you need to do to see this movie is funny. So yes. you enjoy black, white, whatever. Yes. Comedy is universal. You should watch it and it's laugh. Hilarious. Don't worry about it. And my name's Ronnie Ray. I was one of the hosts. Um, check me out. www.ronnierraycomedian.com. Find me on there. Christian, tell them. I'm Christian Leslie. You will find me. Type in K H R I S T I A N Leslie L E S L I E. Bing. Uh, Google any search engine. I come up first, and I own the first page. So. Go ahead, click on that. You'll find me there and message me appropriately. Thank you so much. Hey, oh, give my give my album, man. Comedy Before yes. Flesh. It's on all music servers. Yes. The other one, out of my sister, part one, two, and three, the EPs. Listen to those. I take your penny and half per stream if you do it. Um, like else? us, like, like us, like like the video. Subscribe. Tell some people subscribe, like it, love it, laugh, whatever you That's feel. Right. Do it. Tell a friend. You know what I mean? Yes. And check us out with the quote. This has been Growing Up Shot. If you weren't born in Chicago, you didn't grow up shot. Boo! <laughs> <laughs>